This dessert was all the rage when I was growing up during summers. Today I'm making Swiss roll at home. Let's get started. Let's start by making the sponge first. To make the batter, I'm going to start with 1/4 cup of soft yogurt, half cup of water, 1/4 cup of oil, and 3/4 cup of sugar. Now sugar is considered a wet ingredient because it dissolves itself into all the wet ingredients that are there in the bowl. Mix this well till the sugar dissolves completely. We are going to add in all our dry ingredients. I am going to sieve them before adding in half a cup of maida, one fourth cup of cocoa powder, one teaspoon of baking powder, and half a teaspoon of salt. We are going to mix this to form a batter. Scrape the sides of the bowl. to make sure there are no dry pockets left the batter looks nice and smooth so now we are going to pour this into our tray i have lined the tray with parchment paper so that it can come out very easily i am going to pour the batter and i am going to spread it around so that it's nice and even all throughout It's very important that you use a recipe that uses oil in it so that the cake can roll properly while you're rolling the Swiss roll. Now to make sure that it doesn't crack, I'm going to cover the surface of the cake with foil so that it doesn't dry up. I'm going to bake this at 160 degrees Celsius for 8 to 10 minutes. Once the sponge is baked, let it cool on a wire rack and remove the aluminum foil to avoid any kind of steam forming inside. The sponge has cooled down completely. Now I'm going to take it out of the tray and place it on another parchment paper which is a bit longer and I'm going to flip it upside down. I'm going to flip this one more time because I want this texture to be outside. Be careful while doing this. I'm going to fill the Swiss roll with ice cream. This is ready-made vanilla ice cream which is a little soft right now, but it's perfect to roll it in. So I'm just going to place dollops of this ice cream. Make sure you leave a band of sponge right here so that this can be folded properly. Now I'm going to cover this with ice cream until this portion. Flatten it out to form an even layer. Make sure you do this step very quickly so that the ice cream doesn't melt. If you find any empty spots like this, just fill it up with more ice cream. Fold over the front portion that is not covered in ice cream into the center and start rolling it. In case you're not able to roll it any more, roll it from the other side. Wrap it up completely, forming a loaf. Twist the end, and now it's time to freeze this for two hours. The Swiss roll has been in the freezer for two hours. It's completely set from the inside as well as the outside. Let's open and have a look inside. If you notice some cracks or melting of the ice cream, don't worry about it. The cracks are going to be covered with dark chocolate ganache. This ganache is made with one part cream and one part of dark chocolate. Now to add some crunch I'm adding in some chopped almonds and I'm going to cut the sides to make it look neat and clean and the swiss roll is ready to serve Swiss roll is a delight you should definitely not miss this summer try this recipe out this is chef Pumika signing off from Rajshree Food